So should I call the meeting to order? Yeah, we have a quorum. It's now, I have 402, so I think we should call it to order. Okay, so I am calling uh, to order the uh, April 27th, 2020 meeting of the Local Historic District Commission. Um, we're meeting by Zoom uh, during the quarantine, and we only have um, two items on the agenda today, two new applications. Uh, I, um, a new dryer exhaust at 17 Sealy Street and an update to a sunroom um, at 194 Lincoln Avenue. So we'll begin with the application at 17 Sealy Street. Um, I don't think we have a representative from the property, so we can, do you want to present it, Nate? Yeah, I can. And uh, for David Silver is on the line. Uh, if we have another attendee here, hold on, uh, Hilda Greenbaum. So. For people who are attendees, you can, um, there's a button that allows you to say, raise your hand. And then uh, Mr. Slover, when your, when your um, presentation is up, I'll move you to a panelist. And that way, you know, he'll have the same level of communication as, you know, the commission members right now are considered panelists and the members of the public are attendees. So, um, so for now, we'll just do 17 Sealy. I can pull up the application. If everyone can see it, I'll just scroll down. So 17 Sealy is, um, you know, they're doing some interior work, but it, the, the result of that is a new dryer vent on the rear of the house facing, facing west. So this is the facing the parking lot to First Church. Yeah. And they're going to cut a dryer vent in up here on the, on the wall. And so currently it's coming out of a window illegally, and they need to actually create a, a real vent structure. And so you know, we've asked them, because they're doing other work on the inside of the house, and they've said the only thing that's actually going to become a change is this, is this protrusion right here of a, of a vent. Okay. And, you know, it'll just be a simple exhaust uh, cover, you know, like a four by four vent. Okay. And I think, you know, as far as I understand, you know, here's a, a mount, an image of it mounted. That's all it will look like. Um, yeah, I have to say, I don't mean to digress, but it's good they have a screen there because just last week we, uh, um, there was a nest of squirrels were born in our vent because there was not a screen. Wow. Yes. <laughs> and a similar, it wasn't, ba they weren't babies, but an adult squirrel? No, the adult had left her babies there. Oh. Oh. Raining squirrels? Yeah, we got them out, but we had to get an exterminator. Anyway, it was not fun. So I'm very conscious now of screens on vents. Wow. Yeah. That was right. Yeah, squirrels in the house or in the, in the walls of your house are not a good thing. No, they're not. They, they did all come out, though, I have to. Well, that's good. But, um, okay, so uh, I guess I, nobody, they don't have a representative. The contractor for this property isn't here, but I guess for... Uh, the uh, David Silver, the other applicants benefit, you know, we, the presentation is made and then the commissioners can ask questions of the applicant. And then we go into closed session to discuss and vote on uh, the application. So uh, are there any questions or comments about this, uh, about the vent? Well, I have one comment that I think that it's coming off the second floor, which is good because there's children, uh, play areas down below in that in that area. Okay. You can see them in the bottom right corner. Right. The uh, sandboxes. Uh-huh. Oh, right, right. But at least that seems to be a fair distance away. Right, it's almost two stories up. Yes. Okay. Seemed pretty straightforward to me. I, I had no questions. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Nate, should we? Do we have to ask for, um, you know, a motion to close the public hearing? Sure. A motion to close or a motion? Yeah, a motion for this, and uh, you know, maybe an approval with it too. The commission yeah. Feels that like would be great. I can't do that as chair. So, if one of the members, one of the commissioners, oh. I second it. I second it. Oh, we need a motion first. If oh, I so move that that we close the hearing and uh, approve this approve this proposal. I second it. Okay. All in favor? 
Aye. 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 Okay. Okay, vote. Oh, you know what, sorry, vote on, <laughs> vote by, um, on Zoom or something like this has to be by roll call. So Jennifer, if you call members' names, if you can just say aye and I'll record it. Okay. Um, Karen? Aye. Uh, Greta? Aye. Uh, Jim? Aye. Peggy? Aye. Jennifer? Aye. Okay, great. That's, that's approved. And then I'm gonna move, uh, Mr. Silver, you to a panelist. Uh, let's see, does when you move over or, okay. So you're now a panelist and you can make yourself viewable if you'd like. I'm gonna pull up the application. How do I, how do I, how do I raise my hand? You mentioned something about raising my hand without raising my hand. Oh, sure. So now you're a panelist, so you can speak at will as an attendee. If you're an attendee, I think if you hover over your name or at the bottom of the little screen, it might say raise hand and you would click that as an attendee. But now as a panelist, you're on kind of on same, the same par as the commission. So you're able to speak um, as, as you will. I can see all of you, yep. and but you, I don't see raise hand. I see a mute button. Yep. As a panelist, you don't, ha you, you don't have to raise your hand because you can just speak any um, at will. Oh. Okay. So you're, you're, anyone can, uh, I can hear you and the commission can hear you. Okay. And, um, you know, let me pull up the drawing here, um, or an image first, if you would want to. And these are sideways thing. on my view. Is that the way you were all seeing them? Sorry. Yeah. I'll yeah. rotate it in a second. Okay. <laughs> it is, a. Uh, there we are. So there's, there's the oh, existing please. sun porch. And if, right. um, I mean, Jennifer, if you just want to start it and then we can um, have the applicant present a little bit. Okay. Um, well, I, I would, I think, turn it over to Mr. Sloviter to present. It's, um, you know, requesting new uh, trim, uh, wood trim and um, windows, new glass for the sunroom. And if uh, Mr. S uh, David, if you want to, you know, make your presentation, that would be great. Okay. Uh, thank you. What we are proposing is improving the porch so that it can be used year round. Right now it's not insulated. And in order to do that, and in order to make the floor level, which it has never been because it was originally a, um, an open exterior deck before we badly enclosed it about eight years ago, we are proposing to raise the floor, the interior floor, and uh, so that it will be on a level with the adjoining room. And that will create space below the floor to insulate the floor thoroughly. Okay. That means that the, that the existing glass panels, which will be replaced, will need to be raised. So the, the transom panel that is above the windows that I'm looking at now, are we all seeing the same thing on the screen? Yes. Okay. So the, pan, the new panels will essentially be the same size as the old panels but they will be raised. The, the, the part that you see below the glass will be floor, is where the floor will be raised. Right. So the glass panels need, the new glass replacements, which are insulated, need to be raised and that eliminates the need for the transom. So really that's, that's a good picture right there. So the only thing that will be visible from the outside, and it's my understanding that the question here is strictly about exterior appearance. Exactly. Is, is that the, the transom glass panels will be eliminated. Okay. And the, the vertical rectangular glass panels 
will be higher and go to almost top. to the height of uh, the total glass that you right. see there now. Okay. And then along the bottom, there will be a broader band, which in fact, we are uh, going to make more historically appropriate and more in keeping with the panels below the windows on the original 1895 part of the house. Okay. This deck, the, the sunroom enclosure that you're looking at now is about eight or nine years old. It was shortly after we moved here in 2010. Sure. So let me scroll down. I think there's, um, sorry for this. So here's the, if people can see this, so here's existing right here. What, what David's been talking David's about. Design. Yeah. And then the new one is over here on the right side. So, you know, here's the transom he's been talking about and here's right. a break and here's the proposed. Right, right. And, and, so and where you see at the bottom right, right of that drawing where it says recessed panel, right. that is a decorative fascia panel that is consistent with the panels that are in the other part of the house from the original design. Right. And, and in, in fact, the end result will be that the exterior of the room will be more appropriate to the house than the panels that there are now. Yeah. Great. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And that's from the exterior, that's, that's it. The okay. roof is not being changed at all. Uh, the, the structure is being, uh, the propose is to uh, strengthen it and stabilize it because it was originally just an exterior deck. Right. But none of that is visible. Okay. Right, it's not, and the structure is not being enlarged at all. Not, not a half an inch. Yeah. It's following, no, it, 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 really the, the entire, other than structurally reinforcing, uh, the glass panel, the new glass panels will follow the exact line of the existing ones. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, do the commissioners have any questions of the applicant? It, it sounds like it will look like it had always been there. Right. It sounds it, like it will. That's one of the intentions. It, it will look much more like it, like it has always been there. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, just okay. a quick question. Uh, do we assume the evergreens will be staying in place? Yes. Yes, absolutely. The hemlocks provide uh, a lot of privacy and yeah. they are on uh, two of the three sides. Uh, the and they're not being cut back or expanded. They're, they're not changing at all. Mm -hmm. So basically, Karin's on the other side of the hemlocks. Karin is on the other side of the hemlocks and of the garage. Yeah. So I can't see her now, and I won't see her when the new, <laughs> when the new thing happens. Right. I have to go out in the street to wave to her. Yeah. <laughs> when you have happy hour during the uh, quarantine. Right, right, yeah. right. Or I can go into my yard to wave to her and him yes. if I want. <laughs> but not from the sun porch. Right. I never realized it wasn't a year round. No, we, um, I will confess to um, real short-sighted stupidity on this one. Yeah. It was not insulated. Uh, the glass was not insulated. The new glass is double pane um, tempered glass foam insulation on the floor and in the ceiling, we'll be able to use it year round. Sounds amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. <laughs> um, okay, so can we uh, actually do the same as we did with the last application? Yeah, if the commission has, doesn't have any more questions, you know, if you're ready to make a finding or take, make a motion, you can, and then, you know, if there's a vote, it has to be by roll call, but. Okay. But we could have a motion to close the public portion and to approve the application? If, if the commission's wet, ready, yeah. Yeah. I think we're ready. Yeah. I think it's pretty straightforward. 
So um, again, I can't make the motion, but I so move. I'll, I'll be happy to make the motion that we accept the proposal. And I'll second that it. We close, close discussion and accept the proposal. Is okay, that and Guida seconds it. I second it. Okay, then I will ask for a um, vote by name. Uh, let's start with um, Peggy. I approve it. Uh, uh, Karen. I approve it. Uh, Guida. I approve it. Uh, Jim. I approve. And Jennifer, I approve. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a record meeting. It is. And David, thank you for your patience. This has been, you know, uh, this, this application came in a while ago and then with all the changes, it's been postponed, um, I think twice. So thank you for waiting for us. And why is something going on in the world that <laughs> affected something? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, the housing, the housing trust was in a similar position. The chair had hoped to meet and I scheduled the meeting and then the town manager said, we can't meet. So then, you know, a lot of I people understand. were expecting a meeting. And then, um, so it, it, we met last week, but the same thing, it was interesting. Uh, you know, it's taken a while to get technology up, up to, up to speed actually. Mm -hmm. um, right. It's yeah. pushing all of us with gray hair into, uh, joining the 21st century a little more than we thought we were going to. Oh, even and me a little too. faster. <laughs> I can't believe how many Zoom meetings I have a day now. <laughs> so I before, I, before I get off, can I, can I ask what, when this ruling gets passed on to the building department so that we can move forward? It's, the delay is, is difficult. Sure, yeah, I can communicate that um, this evening or tomorrow. And so, you know, typically we, uh, Jennifer and I would draft up a decision and a certificate with, you know, knowing this, that is coming and it's been approved. Um, you know, Jennifer can pass it on to get a building permit and the inspectors can start looking at it this week. So, you know, that you can coordinate with Jennifer Mullins, the permit administrator, but I'll let them know to keep, keep it moving forward. Okay, and who does, who specifically does that go to? Uh, Jennifer Mullins, she's the permit administrator. Oh, okay. And then she, you know, she'll, there's, you know, a number of inspectors and I'm not sure they've been, you know, they aren't necessarily coming into the office. And so she, she knows who, she'll figure out who it goes to, but there's a few inspectors that. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. But you don't have to wait till you actually have our signed certificate in hand. Right. Okay. Who should we contact? Jennifer Mullins. Jennifer oh, Jennifer Mullins. Mullins yeah, at... You don't need, right. You can go ahead and do that. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. I will tell the contractor. Okay. Right. Thank you. Yeah, okay, thank you. Thank How you. Do I, what do I, oh, do I click, sorry for my ignorance, do I click leave? Yes. And I think it'll just say, leave then, it'll you ask alone. You, okay. then it'll ask you to leave again. Sorry? Yeah, you, if you click leave meeting, then it'll, it'll ask you to confirm if you really want to leave, and then you can just hit okay. Okay. Well, okay. thank you all very much. I appreciate the opportunity. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. I'm waving even if you can't see me. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> right, hey, everyone. So that was, that was quick. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, you know, we still have one guest, um, Hilda Greenbaum. I don't see any, she, she hasn't raised her hand. I'm not sure that there's any questions. The, um, you know, I haven't received any new applications either. Uh, she's raised her hand, but um, there's been no new applications yet. So, you know, more than likely in the, into the near future, at least I know for the next um, two months, three months, we'll be holding meetings this way. So if we get new applications, I'll scan them and email them, and then we'll have to have a hearing remotely. Okay. Um, I'm going to yeah. allow Hilda to talk right now. Hilda, can you can you hear us? She's still on mute. Hey. Oh, no. she is. No, I'm just saying I have oh, okay. nothing to say. And you have a new member? That's my question. Oh, no, that's... She's asking who Benj Ben is. Oh. Oh, hi there. Yeah, I'm a new planner with the town of Amherst, and I'm- Oh, you're a planner. Okay. Okay. Shadowing Nate. <laughs> so who, who are you missing beside Maureen? Bruce. Just Bruce. I'm writing this up for the paper, huh? Oh, yeah. Bruce. Oh, Col Bruce. Bruce. Yeah, Bruce Coldham. And, oh, Bruce. Okay, yeah. And Maureen, and I haven't- um, Bruce had said he was going to make it, but I haven't heard from him. So maybe something came up. Usually he's pretty good. Yeah. Is he back from uh, Australia? He did. He left early. He uh, came back early with, with the whole health crisis. Yeah, he, while he could. Yes. 
Maybe smart. it wouldn't be a bad thing to be over there for a long time, but you never know. <laughs> well, I think that's, that's, my, that's my question. That's all. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, you're all, Hilda, you don't have any other questions? No, no, no. Just checking, making like, up so the facts are accurate for the newspaper. Okay. I did have a question. I don't know if this would, um, you know, we had before the Amherst Media um, application, right. we had talked about bringing up before the commission and i don't know if this is the next few meetings or you know whatever the time to do it before we have many applications but if we wanted to address the issue of the minimum maintenance bylaw you know and what i think about with that is greta the house um a couple of doors down from you the chawadi house yes you know of if we wanted to I don't know if it would have to go before the town council, but of, you know, beginning to to talk about and maybe have some minimum maintenance bylaws for Good absolute idea. landlords. Yeah, I think, yeah, there's another thing I, can, I was gonna ask, the commission could, um, we could also start um, implementing whether or not, I wouldn't call it an application fee, but a legal ad fee. Right. So right now we don't, we, that you know, we don't, we don't charge anyone anything and probably, you know, we, the, the planning department, we probably spend any, you know, $5,000 or more every year on legal ads for the local historic districts. So, um, you know, we could schedule a public meeting, you know, in the next few weeks, I could send out times that are good and we could have a public meeting to talk about these things. You know, I think the minimum maintenance bylaw would be, you know, the commission would maybe request it of the council to include it in the general bylaws. Is that, or was it, was it, or was it something that we're actually going to try to make part of the local historic district bylaw? Is it, there's a few I, ways it can happen. Well, there were two things. I think that, um, I don't think that we had it. We had um, discussed this. Oh my God, why am I blanking on your predecessor with yeah, Brendan? Brandon. Brandon. He was going to do a little maybe training you know give us like an overview so we were all on the same page about what that was yep. and then i so i would say that would be part of the conversation at the least i think we would like that to be in the local two local historic districts it would be ideal to have it for the town but yep. i don't know what that entails i don't think that's on the top of the agenda for the council no sure okay yeah i think i know he started um some research and it's on the network drive right i think he might have even gone to a statewide meeting about it and he sure. was going to report back on that okay so yeah let me look into that so we could schedule a meeting um you know if we wanted even just to check in you know like the third week in may and you know we could have a few agenda items it would be a public meeting and if we end up needing a public hearing we could turn it we could have that too if, if that's if that's okay okay well, I don't think any of us are going anywhere. Yeah, <laughs> my schedule looks pretty good. <laughs> yep, <it's> wide open. <laughs> That's the next thing on my calendar. <laughs> no dinner dates, no nothing, right? Yeah. All right, I think Hilda's raised her hand again, so I'm gonna, Hilda, I'm gonna let you speak. You're, I think you should be on No, on I you. didn't, I forgot to turn it off. Oh, okay. You gotta remember to turn it off. All right, so I think, I mean, would we tentatively say May, um, do you want to try to meet like May 18th as a, as a public meeting on Monday? May 18th. Afternoon? Yeah, sounds Monday, good. May 18th. Is there a re is that good for everyone or? It's fine. What time? Oh, I mean, does four work? We could do four three. Work. Four is a good time. Four is a good time. Okay. Good. Thank you. And right. at this point, are we assuming that that would be the same format on the computers? It would be, and. Like I said, I'm not sure we're going to have any applications for that. It would just be a public meeting. I could try to go over the um, minimum maintenance bylaw. We could discuss, you know, a, um, an application fee or a legal ad fee. And if there's any anything else, you know, we could put on the agenda. Just let myself or Jennifer know. Okay. Yeah, and I think with the fee, you know, the town's going to want, not going to want to spend any money it doesn't have to. Yeah, I mean, After I was thinking it'd be like seventy-five or a hundred dollars. I mean, I think each each legal ad is a few hundred. Yeah. Um, you know, anywhere from like two hundred to three hundred, and that's usually for two projects. So I don't know. I mean, seventy-five dollars. We could, you know, just think about that as a, a ballpark. Okay. Yeah, I don't really have anything else. Um, there are some memberships expiring, so I think. Uh, I mean, I can email. I know Bruce. I think and one other person on the commission, and so. 
you know, we can, if people want to be reappointed, we um, just let me know. I think everyone has another term they can um, sit on. Is there, it's a two term limit? Is that? It is still, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I so, hope we'll continue. Good. <laughs> Jennifer, actually, have you been on it for two full terms? No. no I don't okay. think so. What is it, two years? It's, th uh, it depends. You know, um, it's interesting. It's two, but I think six years is the maximum. So I think sometimes people are appointed for a year or two and they stagger terms. So if you've even been on it for two terms, but it hasn't been six years, then you could be allowed to. I think I came on the middle of, I don't know if somebody left. Right. Yeah. So let's look into that because. Let's look into it. I can't remember exactly. So if we lose two or three members, then that makes a quorum difficult come June. Nate, I think that I came on the same time as Bruce Colder. Okay. So. But in, I, I'm, I don't remember what, if they were staggered terms or not. Okay. Yeah. Let me look into that and I'll email everyone. I know I came on after Bruce and Jim. Okay, so it's just one of those things, you know, no one pays attention until it's too late and then they <laughs> I have no idea. All right. All right. I don't think I have anything else, but those are can be some items for May. Okay. So should I call for um someone to call to adjourn? Sure, I think we're all set. Okay, great. Thank you, Nate. Thanks, yeah. everyone. Good. Nice to see everybody. Is there yeah. a motion to adjourn? I guess I have to formally do that. Stay well. <laughs> yes, stay, stay well. well. Okay. Okay. Do I have to do a motion, Nate? I'd like to have a motion to okay. adjourn if someone's willing. Could somebody uh, move to adjourn? I do. I move we adjourn. Second. Great. I second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, Aye. everyone be well. Bye-bye. Okay, take Aye. care. Good to see Bye -bye. you all. Really Thanks, good. Everyone. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>